In this video, let's talk about how I'm getting my notes from Supernote into Obsidian. So this is fairly easy with the sync process that they've created. So now you can sync to either their Supernote Cloud or other third party cloud providers like OneDrive. So in my setup, I'm syncing to OneDrive and then from there I'm copying uh, the information that I need, which are just the notes, over into Obsidian and then using the plugin I can actually view the the actual files and then even convert them to markdown files if I need to from there. So here are the main things that I have involved in the setup that I have. I have my Supernote device, I have Obsidian on my desktop, and then I have the OneDrive cloud storage service that um, runs obviously in the cloud, but it's synced on the desktop that has Obsidian on it. Now on the Supernote itself, you now have the capability to sync to the, either the Supernote cloud, which offers you a benefit of auto sync, where the third party uh, storage solutions that they give you do not. So you, this will be a manual process that you'd have to do in order to kind of work this through, at least for now. Maybe they'll add auto sync in the future or some kind of scheduled sync, which I think would be okay. But this is what we're working with right now. So it's a manual process. We set it up so that the Supernote will sync to OneDrive. By default, it puts a Supernote folder on the root drive. And um, within the sub uh, folder of, or in, the, in that actually directory, the Supernote directory, all the subfolders are related to a single device. Now, this is um, good if you want to keep all your devices in sync because you can just set it up purely that way and each device that you set up will kind of sync back and forth. But if you want to have multiple devices that are separated, this somewhat poses a problem because you'll have to use a separate cloud provider per device. Right now, the OneCloud has all of the Supernote information and content and data on it. I'm only focused on just pulling the notes over and then having that sent over to the um, to Obsidian. So, and then once it's in Obsidian, we can use the plugin from Obsidian in the community to view the actual files. Now, in order to get it from OneDrive into Obsidian, I'm using the free file sync. So you can easily download this from online and it's called free file sync. This is set up to where it will sync one way only on the OneNote side or the um, on the Supernote side, it will sync bi-directional. So if I was to update the OneDrive folder from a, another device, it could go the other way. So we could have, you know, a sync back this way if we so chose chose to. Um, but in this case, it's just a one-way sync. Now we'll go into into Obsidian and show how to get the plugin installed and then we can actually look a little bit deeper into the the free file sync just to see how that's set up but it's pretty straightforward. Okay so first off we're in Obsidian let's go ahead to the community and we're going to want to download the Supernote and it's the unofficial Supernote plugin that you're going to install. I already have it installed we'll go into the options here there are a few other things that you can do in here, but I'm only using it for viewing the files at the moment. And you can just play around in here if there's anything that you want to kind of change in here, but I'm leaving that at the default. So in order to get your information from OneDrive into Obsidian is you can either manually copy these files over or you can uh, put in a process similar to what I'm doing where I'm just 
setting it up to where I'm using this free file sync well it will literally compare changes from the source directory and then copy those changes over or mirror those changes over into the obsidian um, resource folder that I created for Supernote and that folder is basically under I, I have a resources folder and then I call it Supernote and then all those notes are copied here and I do not change any of the the actual files in here um, one I, I don't think you can actually even edit them so if I open one up you you can come in here and no it does not seem to even let you edit the actual source files that are copied in here these note files but it does show you the information here now one thing to note with this plugin while it shows you everything in here of the, uh, for that note so you get the the actual um, text recognition from if you're using a text recognition note type now if you don't have that note type then you won't get this here so make sure that you're using that type um, if you're not using that then you would only get the image shown here at the bottom now you can still use this this image that might be valuable to you so uh, either way you're you're getting some benefit by leveraging this plugin and having this information here because what you can do is if you have the text you can simply create a markdown file from here you can see it created one real quick right there and all it did was put in the actual text that was recognized uh, for this particular note now if we go back into this note we can also grab the images where you can see attach markdown and images into the vault and then it will uh, copy it you see it created some PNGs in there and then it created another note and this note here is the actual text and I can come in here and I can edit this and it has the images so technically if you wanted to you could delete all of the note files once you've you've done this but the way I have it set up it's always going to copy those note files in here so this is something where if I use this information I'm going to take it and put it in another document so or note within the environment here that's not in this super note resource folder so another reason you might want to do this here is because the original file that that gets pulled over from the super note you cannot edit this file this note file here and search does not search in into this content either even though I can come in here and I can select this I can even copy that information I can come over in here to this note and if I paste it you can see it pasted it in there now the formatting is a little bit different but it does actually copy and paste the, the text from that note file but one thing is that it will not search in here so search does not work here I wish that this particular uh, plugin if it when it recognizes this information that it puts any text potentially in a property or something and um, and makes to, to make it searchable um, that way I wouldn't even have to create a markdown file in many cases because I'll be able to actually find the data that I want to make it easier to get that copy process going within the free file sync what I've done is I've saved the the actual configuration for this so you come in you you set it up so it'll do the sync you let it sync that first time to get it the way you want it and then you can save this here as a batch job and you can save that to the file system so that you can just click on that in order to rerun with all the settings that you have here um, and it will run this for you much easier than coming in here every time setting things up and then and then uh, doing that copy so the other benefit of having that batch file is that I can create a one-click button using the uh, shortcut using a shortcut in Apple so I'm on a Mac so I can use the Apple shortcuts 
and you can see here I have a sync super note to obsidian if we edit this we can see that this here is the command that I'm using where I'm just running this batch file using the free file sync command and you can see the, the settings that I have set up here so if I run it we'll go ahead and minimize that get this out of the way oh and one thing here too is I've also made it easy so I don't have to open up shortcuts I right click on there and just add that to dock you can also add widgets now to your to your desktop so I also have a widget on the desktop so depending on which one is more accessible and visible for me to click on I'll just click one or the other so let me go ahead and click on the the actual shortcut itself we'll see that there's a pop-up that pops up from time to time uh, sometime it may not pop up but eventually you will you will probably get this message so that it you're allowing permissions to the uh, to the folder and the files hit allow and then it will actually just run if any changes were made then it will show all that information here you get a log here as well and then you just hit close once you're done the everything will update on this side here and yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward we can also see here that I had some files that were in here that were not in the source and because I set it up to mirror those files disappeared so that that's why I do not put anything in this particular folder because I've set it up to be a mirror you can change the way you're you're doing that particular copy if you want but this is how I want it to do it so that um, I'm not really putting stuff into this and this is really stuff that could be thrown away um, if, if I needed to I can just wipe all this clean and just take everything that I need from there because it's just a resource for me so I think that's pretty straightforward it's not too complicated to get the inf your you know your notes from the super note once you set it up to do doing a syncing to either one one drive or Google or even the Supernote Cloud, you can still get that information over into Obsidian and then use this plugin. So this makes it really convenient to to just get to working with it in Obsidian if those are two things that you are using together within your particular uh, productivity suite of tools and software. So if you have a Supernote, you're using Obsidian. This plugin definitely makes it a lot easier. Instead of one-off um, exporting your your notes into a format that's easily consumed into Obsidian. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.